I'm on live. I'm recording a video. So this is how you make money on top of your money. And then the best part is when I get home, I'm about to take this live stream. I'm going to chop that up into like three videos. So that's three more videos. And then this video going to be its own video. I'm going to have a video within a video. And then next thing you know, I might turn into a damn video. Man, stop playing with me. I am the best content creator in the gig economy. Hands down. Confirmed by myself. I cannot be stopped. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Been out for two hours so far actually like two and a half hours we are at 70 bucks so far doing pretty good but uh look where i'm at right now i had to pull up the dobs real quick and grab a couple things out of the whip because look man look man the kia oh my goodness the kia it needed some work man see when you're in the gig economy now, you know a couple dog. months go by you might have to put Come some work on, into the man. car like the, the starter went out and the battery went out Damn. So we got a brand new battery, brand new starter, and that's going to cost me, especially with the towing fees, probably going to be coming out about a thousand bucks for all of that. So you know what? We jamming in the escape right now. But you know what? I'm just happy that I got two vehicles so that I can keep the wheels rolling and continue to earn my money. Because even more so right now, I got to make this money so I can go ahead and get the Kia back. Woke up today at 745. I was like, I got to get out, hit these Walmart Spark Black Friday deals. It's always something. So as soon as I get to the car, I start it up. I was trying to leave out in the Kia today. As you can see, I don't know if y'all can tell, but we in the Ford Escape right now, guys. I was planning on going out in the Kia, and things just wasn't going as planned. So find out the Kia didn't want to start up. It's having some issues, and I think I might need to get the starter replaced, guys. So I had to go ahead and leave out in the Ford Escape today. And I had to get the Kia towed over to Dobbs. And you know, they gonna check it out and let me know what's going on. But basically, hold on, let me see if I got an order on DoorDash. Nah, basically it kind of threw a monkey wrench in my plans for today. But I was like, you know what? I can't let that stop me. I still gotta get out here and get this money and do what I was planning on doing, regardless of if I have a hiccup in my plan. So I got out, man. I got some Walmart Spark orders done. I've done, let's see, three orders already. One curbside and two shopping delivers. And we had 68 bucks already. Also, I did one Uber Eats order too. But man, I'm just like feeling so down. And things ha like that happen that's out of your control. And does it make you not want to do nothing? But I say, you know what? The hell with all that. I'm about to get this money. More than, more than halfway to my daily goal. I do feel a little bit better about it. Look at them Walmart and Associates. But I feel a little bit better about it now that I'm, you know, a little bit into the shift. But man, 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 it's, I don't know how much this starter on this Kia gonna cost me. And then I gotta pay the tow truck fees too. So I might as well go ahead and hit Dash now and see what we can get. DoorDash just let me on the schedule. So I'm trying to see if I can get something to do in this next 30 minutes. I got an order over here on Walmart Spark. This one gonna be paying 20 bucks for one mile. It's a Sam's Club order, and normally the Sam's Club orders don't even be good like that. So that Sam's Club order gonna put me at 90 bucks on the day. Well, actually more like 88 bucks. But I'm hoping I can get me just a, a, a quick little DoorDash order, something going like two or three miles at the most, instead of sitting here in this Walmart parking lot. All right, so we didn't hit pause on the Dasher app. They didn't send me nothing good. This whole time I was sitting here waiting for my Sam's Club order to be ready. And now we got about 10 minutes until it's ready i'm about to pull up the sam's club parking lot now so we pause in the dasher so i just made it to sam's club guys it is full it's hella cars here i mean just look at this look at all these cars this is crazy what is paying me twenty dollars and eighty something cents for 1.8 miles i couldn't pass it up See if it's gonna let me check in. Yes, sir, I am here. If I got orders like this all day long, I'd be a happy camper, but the simple fact is, it's very unpredictable as far as what kind of orders you're gonna see on the Walmart Spark app. And that's really across all gig apps. Listen, shop and pay orders, I'd be good to go. But you gotta take what you can get. And right now, this is what I can get to get me closer to my daily goal. I wanna, I gotta hit 200 today, guys, because with, with these car bills and car expenses, nope, it's just the perfect time to go ahead and run it up. Let's see if we can sit this like this. That'd be Nope, the wind gonna knock it over. It's probably gonna be my only sound for the real today.
last but not least. Got that done. Now we need our picture. And then we good to go. 19 dollars six miles go ahead and check this out got like two bags of salt right here three things of water and two toasts this is the second order of this trip right here 19 dollars for two miles uh, no not two miles 19 bucks for six miles so let's go ahead and get this one dropped off let's go ahead and get these waters first then I'm gonna probably grab the salt next, then grab these totes of water. Walmart got a little Black Friday incentive going on, so I'm trying to run it up. I've had to adjust my schedule. Hold on, bump, 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 bump. I've had to adjust my schedule because in the gig economy, a lot of times, you know, we get comfortable and used to working a certain way, certain hours of the day, even a certain area or a certain zone. I've been having to switch it up, guys, man. I. Walmart Spark been having these deals and they get so much money to be made out here that I'm trying to make myself available. So I'm out early today. And normally I don't even be out driving this early because I'd be in the house doing some editing, working on some projects. I said, man, if I don't get out here early, I won't be in the algorithm. And then if I try to get out later on in the day, they won't send me nothing because they gonna prioritize all the other drivers who've been out accepting orders all day, which makes sense. If they out working already, of course they should get orders before somebody who just turned the app on at like 4 p.m. So I said, you know what? I gotta switch it up, guys. I gotta turn my app on bright and early, first thing in the morning. Otherwise, <laughs> I may not be making no money. So we had, ooh, that truck is loud over there. So we just got another Walmart Spark order. This one was a shopping deliver. I shopped for like 20 items. It was basically all breakfast stuff too. And this one is only going one mile away. Let's go. Hopefully I'm able to get a lot of orders today, just like this. This, was, this, was, this is why I said I gotta get out early in the morning because like I said, if you just try to hop out later in the day, you might not get no order. So I said, you know what, if I wanna, if I wanna get myself in the best position to at least try to make some money today, I got to be in that algorithm and I got to be out here getting these orders. Forty bucks. Let's go. Attention all Walmart Spark drivers. When you out there doing them Spark orders and you know you got an elderly customer, you know they left a message, hey, I'm handicapped or um, I need you to bring the groceries in. We need to make sure we doing that, guys. I got two customers today that asked me to bring the groceries in. $16.68, 4.3 miles, ASAP, curbside pickup. This is my third order within the first hour, guys. And man, look at the miles to money ratio. Four to one on the miles to money. You know, I'm, I only drove a mile away on that last order and I got all, man, I, this is how I like it to go right here. This is the kind of, this is the kind of, you know, orders I need to see. This is the order rate. Like, literally, as soon as I drop off an order, boom, send me another one. That's how you keep them wheels rolling and make that money. So we're heading back to Walmart, and I'm going to pick up this next order and go four miles away. I'm All right, have a good one. All right, so we just got a shop. $11, seven items, three miles. It's it's all about the miles to money ratio on this one because with the Black Friday deals going on, it's just hella orders out there. This Order number four right here, guys. $11 for three miles. Not that many items. All right, let's set that one down. I think it was just the medicine though. Medicine and the bread, oops. Jesus Christ. Get it together, trader, get it together. Come on now. This is supposed to be an easy order. There we go. Boom. All right, let's get that picture. Boom, good to go. Order number four is done. Let's head back to Walmart, see if we can get one more. 